And welcome to the stream. Gonna be doing something a little out of left field here, but we did just complete a handful of games, so I'm entitled uh, or entitled, not entitled, entitled to start up something a little new, something a little random. Um, but we're gonna be doing some Goldeneye off of the N64. This is going to be the actual N64. I'm gonna be using the N64 controller and everything just to make sure we <laughs> have as authentic an experience as possible. But um, don't know how this is going to go. Uh, I was always kind of trash at this game, single player, from what I can recall. Uh, I think I beat it once, but I don't remember for sure. Played plenty of the multiplayer. Wasn't too bad against my friends, but yeah, just when it came to the... Unless I had the golden gun or <laughs> one of the other unlockable weapons. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little iffy. Uh, not my favorite in terms of like controls, but it's been a long time since I played this. But I've been watching some 007 movies of late. Uh, I was thinking of checking out the series and all at the same time been having some discussions about N64. So I thought I'd give it a try, test it out with the retro tank, see what was going on. And uh, hopefully we can have a good stream here. Uh, this is going to be a weird setup for me because I'm going to be playing off of the CRT myself, my CRT uh, television set. But this is going straight to the stream. It should look fine uh, with the retro tank. I was testing that earlier. It looks okay. I don't think there's anything I can complain about necessarily. It looks pretty, pretty damn sharp, but won't know until I do a full stream. So let's go ahead and get into it. Mm-mm. <laughs> Got a little hand cannon there, I see. Okay, just checking out everything here. I think we seem to be okay. Um, getting the the N64 is very finicky, or at least mine is anyway, when it comes to trying to get it to boot up. For some reason, like I was trying like three different games, and the thing would not start. Um, but it's just it just takes some persistence, and I was finally able to get it going. So uh, we are gonna do a new game. At the dam. Uh, <laughs> I'm... Oh boy, we're definitely not doing double O agent. I almost feel like doing just regular agent. But uh, I guess we'll we'll check out secret agent difficulty level and see how that goes. Secret agent James Bond, mission one. Arkengilsk, part one dam. Primary objectives, neutralize all alarms. B, bungee jump from platform. All right. Secret Agent James Bond Mission 1, Arkhangelsk, Part 1 Dam. Background. MI6 has confirmed the existence of a secret chemical warfare facility at the Bailomorie Dam, USSR. <laughs> its heavily guarded location and workings are a cause for major concern. Nerve gas produced there has been turning up in the hands of hostile regimes around the world and deals with international terrorists have been rumored. This facility should be destroyed with extreme prejudice. M briefing. The area around the dam is well defended against full-scale military attack, but a lone agent stands a much better chance. The easiest way to gain entrance to those weapons factory, or the weapons factory, will be to get down the face of the dam. Q had an idea about that. Oh, I can't wait. Q branch. Information concerning shipping and contacts is stored on a computer system in secret ops room within the dam. With this covert modern or modem connected to their satellite link, we can intercept the data when a backup is carried out. As for getting down the dam, use the bungee rope. Bottom of the jump, use the Python gun. Simple. Okay. Money penny. Hardly a lover's leap, James. Be careful, though. I hate to think of you falling for anyone else. Oh, money penny. Ooh. 
Let's get into it. Nine years ago. Oh, this is a flashback. Well, I'm looking at the stream, it doesn't look too bad. In fact, it looks blurrier on my CRT. <laughs> Alright. Um, I don't... Oh, Z's fire. That's interesting. I was gonna say, I don't remember the controls for this game, and I don't remember them being all that great. Um, looks like the bumpers both do free aim, so that's good. That means I can hold it in the middle like I've taken to doing in my adult life. Not super accurate, but, you know, gets the job done. Ah, an AK. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't like that! <laughs> okay, C buttons. Cool. We can use them to strafe, that's good. Oh, shit. I would think they would have worse eyesight with an N64 game, but, you know. Guessing I don't have melee or anything like that. I gotta get used to this. It's inverted, too, the C buttons. <laughs> what is that? That looked like a telephone. Who was shooting at me? Oh, they're still shooting at me. Just you wait. Get your number in a sec here. Oh, I see. Three hits with the sniper rifle. That's unfortunate. Is there something I missed in here? I feel like there's supposed to be armor or something. Oh, hey. <laughs> Maybe not. Nice. That was revolutionary technology at the time. Breaking shit like windows. Astounding. I thought there was... Ar I seem to remember, like, armor being around here. Maybe it's one of those things where it's closer to the start and they just trick you. I don't know. Never mind. Alright. I guess we can move on. So this one... Boy, uh, we got some memories with this game. Uh, th this was one of the first... When I got my N64, I think, in the year 2000, uh, I got it with three games. I got... Or... No. Uh, <laughs> Ocarina. I always confuse Oracle and Ocarina. Um, Ocarina of Time. I got Majora's Mask, and I got Goldeneye, all in the same day. And as a heck of a lineup... Unfortunately, I haven't really gotten that many more games since then for the N64, but I'm slowly trying to find some alternatives for stuff I could play. It's uh, easier said than done, though. Especially with some of the prices going on. There we go. Okay, boy. I can't even see what's going on in there. If I shoot, will I kill somebody? if I did. There's some sort of blurry mass in the background. There seems to be bullets emanating from it, but I can't quite tell. <laughs> God, I never, I've never played like Turok or like any of the other shoot. Well, I played Doom 64, but I, didn't, I never owned that. But I never played like any of the other shooters. Like even Perfect Dark, um, I have very little experience with. But, oh god. 
if this game is anything to go by. <laughs> One of my friends said Mission Impossible, which I thought I remember being a first-person shooter, but it's actually a third-person shooter. Um, and we attempted to play that one a couple of times, but that was a bit of a nightmare. Maybe you had a first-person view mode you could go into to shoot. I don't know. Something like that. It was weird. Are those... What are those? Explosive barrels? Okay, cool. Wow. So this isn't very spy-like work. We're just kind of marching on in here. <laughs> Going loud. Okay, that was a guy I was trying to get earlier. I'm gonna check at the base of this tower because I could have sworn there was one of these where there was an armor pickup. but still getting used to the controls um, and not not faring too bad but it's not too great either oh okay I thought maybe all of them would explode one of my friends had a misconception he used to think that we played GoldenEye all the time which we played it a, like a fair amount but like not consistently the one that we played all the time though uh, was Nightfire, which is a great game. I had it on the PS2, uh, and we used that with the multi-tap. And oh man, there was the there was the GoldenEye game mode that we played. So we might have been misconstruing that, but uh, the GoldenEye game mode and several other game modes in that game were pretty damn amazing. I gotta say. But big fan of that one. This one, like I said, it was a little rough to get used to, but overall it's probably doable, yeah. Hopefully. Now we can zoom in and out with this. Oh, nice. Shit. Bastard. I think he was trying to set that alarm off. This isn't really a sneaking game. <laughs> Despite the fact that you're doing supposed spy work here, but... Is anybody else? I'm hesitant to go forward just in case they attempt to set off an alarm. Nobody up here. Not even any items or anything like that. <laughs> Maybe we did used to play like on agent <laughs> difficulty and they just like give you armor and other good stuff. Or something, I don't know. Shit. And he's going in for that little that nil, uh, kneel shot. Like they do in the intro sequences sometimes. I don't know, what the hell is this? A deagle? Sounds powerful. Just like a cool little thing, or Whoa. okay. Let me see if there's anything 
else out here. Whoop. Forgive me, I keep mixing up the buttons too. I think that's an alarm. <laughs> okay. Don't have to worry about that, I guess. Oops. Get him in the ass. Come on, turn down. There we go. Here. What's up? Ancient game, yes. But that is kind of what I do sometimes, yeah. Not always a good thing, but you know. Come on in! <laughs> I think I got it. What? Oh, shit. See too much smoke. Graphics too advanced. Oh, shh, son of a bitch. Okay, this got lean mechanic, but it's really harsh. <laughs> wrap my hand around a N64 controller. God damn, it feels like I'm inputting like some form of cheat code just to get most of the basic functions out of the way. It's going to take some getting used to, let me just say that. I haven't played an N64 game in... Well, I was dicking around with Rogue Squadron maybe like a year ago, but like given a serious attempt to an N64 game, it's probably been close to 10 years. Oh, really? Just abandon that trope at the last second. Oh, God. There are a lot of you. I got like no health or armor or nothing. 
accessing data cores. Okay, so that... We need to pull out, like, an item for that, yes? <laughs> That's not suspicious. <laughs> Probably should have picked a better spot for it, but I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, only thing is getting back out of here. That's gonna be the real challenge. We gotta get out and we gotta bungee. Try walking over some of these damaged crates too, because maybe, just maybe, they might have some form of health or something. the exit, but I don't... I was going to say, I don't want to leave any part of this unscathed. However, I don't want to get caught with my pants down necessarily either. It's kind of cool how they react to where they take damage from. It wasn't really something that you saw a whole lot this time period. I mean, we all remember, you know, like Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, where you could wound the soldiers in specific points of the body. I think some other games did that too, like maybe Far Cry or something like that. I don't know. Some, some first-person shooter. But forget about it when it comes to golden eye, or at least I did. there or not, but I guess it doesn't matter now. I'm curious about these boxes. Not a single thing in any one of them. Maybe there isn't anything in the boxes. Outside of just explosives. Okay. Um, did we do what we needed? Neutralize all alarms. Oh. Oh, shit. I did the Q task. I guess we need to neutralize the alarms as well. The only thing about that is I don't know where all of them are. I haven't really been looking out for them. Enemy AI is somewhat sophisticated for the time, but I don't know to what extent. Obviously, we saw some of the enemies like roaming around a little bit towards the beginning of the game, but... I just don't know how far they're going to go, <laughs> so it makes me kind of worried when I have to retread some of these areas. Being on such low health and everything. I 
I think there's one in here. If there's one in here, you'd think they would have hit it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they were too preoccupied at the time. Oh, hey. That vent was showing me where I needed to go, sort of. Okay, I think I want to go back out on t well, we can roam around in the tunnels a little bit more. At least it's confined. I might clear out the entirety of the sub-level and then walk my way around back up top. But the alarms, I'm guessing, are going to be up at the top because I feel like we would have seen one already if there was any down here. Sad sparrows. <laughs> be real careful. those barrels just in case something happens. Oh boy, let me see if I can take this guy out. I start causing a ruckus, I don't know what the AI is going to do. Uh, skull and crossbones, eh? Toxic fumes, nuclear materials, which is it? We have a guy up here that I take him out from afar. I took somebody out, I just don't know how far away they were. Which tower? <laughs> oh god. Christ, I hope there's no fall damage or anything. slide if I because <laughs> I think that's the bungee point I don't remember if you can continue missions like half-assed probably not Well, there is one more tower, I guess. Objective A completed! Yay, we did it! 
Okay, I just gotta go back to the middle there. Right, that is just objective B, yes. The only thing is, I don't remember, do we have to equip something or do we just jump? Because <laughs> I don't got anything else. Oh boy, bungee jump from the platform. Oh, that worries me, okay. Hopefully I don't need to like pick up a bungee jump cord or anything. I'm gonna go to the end here because I'm worried that it's something I need to pick up. We'll see. Uh, favorite Bond game? Ugh, I don't know. There's a lot of them in there. It's like picking a favorite Bond movie. I spent a lot of time with the PS2 games. Um, I almost want to say even like the third person shooter ones, I might even prefer to the first person. I know the first person was the formula worked out, started by Rare and then continued on, I think with EA, but you know, war movie. Oh God. There's like 24 Bond movies. That's a lot. To, that's a lot of shit to pick through and I haven't watched him all of them at least in over at least over 10 years. I did a marathon with a friend a while back, probably nah, maybe not even my twenties, like maybe or like late teens, but still. Uh, first thing first though, with the game, you know, everything or nothing wasn't that bad. I thought that was a pretty good game, but there were some weird points to it that I didn't enjoy. I almost completely loved From Russia With Love, but it's like, I don't know. I've only ever played it once. I don't know if it's, <laughs> if it still holds up. Like in my, in my mind, in my memory, I remember it being pretty good, but I would need to play it again to be sure. Um, I actually played the game before I saw the movie, so sort of ruined some things for me, but, you know, I guess I knew the risks. I'm going to look this up. I haven't played any of the other ones, like any of the Craig, uh, Daniel Craig games, cause I don't know. I just haven't been looking into Bond games, basically. But well, actually, no. I played the GoldenEye remake. That wasn't bad. It was probably I don't know. I don't even know if it had any expectations behind it, but it wasn't as bad as I think some people made it out to be. Okay. Play it, head back the way you came. Be sure exit the first time so you don't run down their enemies. <laughs> Unless you want to fight. And jump off the dam. Okay. It doesn't say anything about equipping anything, so... I'm just gonna go... Okay, cool. I think we did it. It doesn't look like he really does anything. It just <laughs> looks like Bond wants to end it all. Accuracy 60, 62%. Well, 50% ain't bad. Two minutes, 40 seconds is the target. Jeez. 
That's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Overestimating. I left, I left no survivors, though, so that's good, yes? Yeah, just imagine if he didn't have anything. Can we over here, right here, right now? Uh, we need to gain entry into the laboratory area. Contact double agent. Rendezvous with 006. Destroy all tanks in bottling room. Minimize scientist casualties. Uh, Ar Arkhangelsk facility. Inside the chemical weapons facility, you should quickly and efficiently proceed to the bottling area and place demolition charges on the main gas tanks. Political considerations demand that collateral damage is minimized on this mission. Non-military personnel should be disregarded. M briefing. You'll be working with 006 on this assignment. The bottling room is the rendezvous point. Don't forget to contact our double agent scientist before you leave and warn him to get out. He'll provide you with a decoder for the final security door. There are no women or casinos for a thousand miles, 007. So even you will be able to concentrate on this mission. <laughs> Thanks. Q branch. Now listen carefully, Bond. Those bombs will be armed as soon as the last one is set. Don't be too close when you set them off, or you'll go up in flames as well. And while you're at it, please try to bring back that door open opener undamaged for once. Too much rough handling like the last mission, and it might go wrong at a bad time. Honestly, 007, sometimes I think you damage your equipment on purpose. Money penny. These chemicals could prove to be a match even for your pheromones, James. Don't take too many risks. I don't like people commenting about pheromones. It's a little weird. Whoa. We're in the vent. Um, can- okay. Never mind. Ah, automatic ducking. That's good. Unlike Dark Forces, <laughs> where you- Well, at least on the PS1 version, where you have to, like, open up the manual and figure out the five-button code to duck. Oh, we can't smash through the vent? All right. Cool. I'm in. Oh, shit. Shouldn't you be pissing? There's people just hanging out in the bathroom. Guns out. Uh oh. Who opened that door? close. Alright, no secrets in the bathroom. Today. Clearance card B. Distance is making me nervous. Oh, that guy took four shots. Exceptionally strong. I seem to remember there being like landmines or something here. One of these Bond games 
was a pain in the ass because it was one of those deals where it was like there was a surprise around every corner. Jeez. That was a surprise. Security door activated. What are you doing, son? Oh, there oh god. That took out a lot of health, excuse me. I said excuse me. It's rude to shoot a man while he's looking at his watch. This, <laughs> this, this is some super secret lab setup. I think my cheapo high school was better equipped than that. Ah, but they have two. Okay, we could go down there, but I feel like there was something we missed. Like that. Although, I could have taken that. Was this the only upstairs? Okay, maybe not. Exit. This don't look like an exit. Okay, I think I think we've looked at everything. Excuse you. Oh, pfft. I already opened it. It should remain opened. Switching guns. Where the hell did they come from? Scientists still running around. Whoa! Looks like a death squad. Do we are we just gonna have regenerating enemies? Respawning? Side. All right, well, then get out of here. Glorious face textures. <laughs> Guess they don't like me zooming in. I think it's possible to like accidentally rupture one of these tanks or something, so we gotta probably be careful. Hello. I don't, I guess you're not my man either. Excuse me. Let's see if I can access these consoles real quick. What about you? Do I have like a thing? Detonator remote mine.
clear them corners. <laughs> You're lucky your friend was there for like a solid 10 seconds. Sure, he didn't get hit. Brief conversation, but uh, I think I got what I needed. Let's just make sure. Door decoder. Okay, cool. Actually, no, I didn't want to switch to that. Eh, I gotta be careful in here. I remember. I don't remember if it, if it was this game specifically, but I remember something like rupturing in one of these 007 games. <laughs> and then just like the whole mission being fucked because, well, basically nobody could breathe. Get moving. Your services are no longer required. Look at that guy doing a little roll. scientist is there nothing else here keeps looking up almost like I'm supposed to do something up there but I don't think so there's no like jump button or anything so wouldn't be able to get on that anyway And leads to something different after all. I chose the right one. Okay, so. Um, I can't enter the laboratory area. Really? I thought this was laboratory laboratory area. Rendezvous with 006, destroy all the tanks in the bottling room, minimize scientist casualties. Incomplete, but we could just We could just count that as complete. I saved a few. Or at least didn't kill them. Do it.
I don't even know where they're shooting from. Folks better get out of here. <laughs> no, we must continue our scientific discussion. Out of here, fools. Looking for doors locks. Um, hopefully, this is what they meant by the final door. I wasn't sure if it was like to get to here or something after this. So, what do I do it on? Do I just plop it on the door itself or the keypad? Itself. Very good then. What the? Oh, gas mask. I thought that was like some cool dude wearing shades, but he also had like a hell of a collar on. I think I just ran into a face shot right there. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just clearing our escape route. Potentially. I don't even know if this is the way we're supposed to go afterward. It's a little dark in here. man, my brother, 006, oh, there he is, glad you could make it 007, yes, for England, James, for England, Alec, it was too easy, Alec, half of everything is luck, And the other half? Knowing is half the battle. Fate. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, I thought... <laughs> yeah, there is... Urumov, throw down your weapons, you're surrounded. See you, suckers. <sighs> Got it all done. I was wondering if we forgot something there, but no. 
The one I think the one I was thinking of was the minimize scientist casualties. But we were able to do it. Still a 62.4. I felt that was a little bit better with that uh, that mission, but I guess not. Oh, anyway. Runway. Um, find plane ignition key, destroy missile battery, escape in plane. Background. The surface runway is the obvious escape route from the Arkhangelsk weapons facility, chemical weapons facility. M briefing. 006 knew this was going to be a risky mission. His sacrifice should give you enough time to find an aircraft. Keep a cool head and you'll get out alive. Just be certain to knock out the heavy gun emplacements and missile battery or they'll swatch you out of the air like a silly fly. A silly fly. Um, okay. Missile battery makes more sense in this particular circumstance. I wasn't sure what they meant. I'm like, is there... Do they have, like, battery-powered missiles? No. <laughs> Q-Branch, no time for gadgets here, 007. Just improvise with what you can find close to hand. Money Penny. Grace under pressure as always, James. Helpful as always, Money Penny. Ow, there's like a pointy bit to this N64 controller. It's a little weird. Oh, we can take a slide out, pick up some hand grenades. Throw these back into the gas plant now. <laughs> oh, that guy was just like wandering out there like nothing happened though. I saw them do this in the preview. I want to give it a try. Ah, shit. They didn't move in the preview. <laughs> ah. Well, at least we got him. Oh, that's the key I need. How's my health doing? Shouldn't take so long to get into like the menu. Okay, missile battery. Where is that? That was just the runway. Got your knees. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What do I got here? Remote mines. Nah. Somebody walk out of that door. Oh lord, there's a tank. It's not active, is it? Holy shit. We got a tank. It's somehow, this is like Volgan tier level of control. <laughs> James is just sitting up on top. But somehow. But I don't. This is like the stupidest thing for a tank, though. <laughs> And I can't reload without hopping out of it. Is okay, hold up. We have a control scheme. Um Ah yes, there are different types of controllers. I wanna know if there's a way to like, fire this thing. It seemed like it fired once, but I think that was... Oh, here it is. Shit. 
We just have to scroll through. I think about this. Well, it's just better just to <laughs> just to go out and do this. Oh god damn it! Keep doing that. Like the tank gun isn't very accurate, <laughs> so it's just better to roam around in the tank with your height advantage and then just shoot him with the gun. <laughs> I don't know if I could run him over or not. This might be handy with, uh... Nice. It's even got a little crunch and sploosh sound. Okay, we still need to take out the gun batteries, though, so I'm guessing that's... Oh, there it is. Yeah, this is risky, though, because it puts us in a very bad position. And then there's just like an ass load of people trying to kill us. Man, I need like... God damn. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Skin of my teeth. I was just, I was kind of just fooling around with the tank, but it ended up being necessary to destroy those uh, turret em emplacements and the gun batteries. So you did it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that was no health left whatsoever. It was kind of kind of tight, but oh well. Uh, that'll give me a gold time here. O-H-M-S-S. -S. Secret Agent James Bond. Mission 2. Severnaya. Part 1. Surface. Primary objectives. Power down communications disk. Obtain safe key. Steel building plans. Enter base via ventilation tower. And it continues on from there. Background. A spy satellite has detected increased levels of activity at an old observatory complex near Severnaya. Coordinates. In Russia. Other sources have confirmed the shipment of a large amount of computer hardware to the location and an influx of skilled personnel. M briefing. It might be convenience that there's a new head of Soviet Space Weapons Division, your old friend General Urumov, or it might not. Penetrate the base and find out what's going on. Building plans for the underground section would be ideal. They're unlikely to be just lying around, so look for a safe. There's bound to be someone you can borrow a key from. Someone I can kill to take their key. Uh, Q Branch, I've looked over the recon photographs and I advise you to stay clear of the main bunker entrance by the helipad. However, there seems to be a ventilation tower nearby which would make an excellent spot for a covert entry. You ought to power down the comms dish too. No point in letting them tell the whole of Russia you've dropped in. Money Penny, it's cold in Siberia, James. Make sure you wrap up warm and take care to protect your extremities. You, you, talk, you talking about the dick? We're talking about the big dick. Four years ago, we're still in flashback mode. Oh, 
Okay. I remember this mission. These big rolling white hills. Anyway, a while back we were talking about Bond games and what potentially my favorite could be. I still do think that, like in terms of gameplay, I probably would have liked the third person shooter ones a little bit more. But um, there's still some good ones. I don't remember Asian Under Fire being that great. I played that one on GameCube, wasn't that impressed. Um, I rented that one, I remember, and I didn't like it that much. Which is why I was hesitant about getting Nightfire, but that one I ended up taking to quite a bit. I'd almost say, and I'd need to play it again, and who knows, maybe I will, but um, Nightfire could potentially be the best first-person uh, James Bond game. We'll see. I know that's a bold claim, but still. <laughs> just in terms of like how it controlled, and the amount of things you could do, and the, just the multiplayer game modes was so amazing. Um, like I said, that was the one I played with friends all the time. That one very well could be the best, so. And I know there's those other releases. There was one that was tied to uh, Quantum of Solace, which wasn't the greatest Bond movie, but <laughs> it's it's like a standard action movie, but yeah, it's a little, it's a little iffy. Uh, so I don't, I don't know how well the game adaptation would be. Okay, I'm stuck. Maybe I should just go through here. I can't do that either. All right, never mind. Whoa! Freaking me out there, man. I didn't know there was anybody out here yet. Guy must have been running from like a mile out. Jesus. Hey, if you guys are using these clobs, I might as well try it out too. There's that other guy. Somebody's shooting at me. I don't remember much about the GoldenEye remake, and I think that might be a problem. Um, some of it felt a little bit generic to me, but I do remember parts of it were pretty good. I love the melee in that game for some reason. I just thought it was cool to see, like, new James Bond style melee action. Like, instead of just, like, quick karate chop, it was, like, the full fledged judo. Almost felt like first person CQC. So. I thought it was neat. Give me that gun. Somebody's got some sort of silencer. You weren't even looking this way, man. Okay. I do think we need to go into that little village area to get the keys and everything. Let's see if I can enter this. Because this is a satellite dish. Generator down there. I don't know if there's like an off switch <laughs> or if I just blow that. You'd think I'd blow that up. Communication just powered down. Ain't turning it back on. Oh shit. Well, I didn't know that was a. <sighs> Power down, communication dish failed. Son of a bitch. You'd think that, like, okay, power it down and then destroy the console, but. I guess it just comes back on if the console is destroyed. God damn it, now we got the alarm going on. There's like many a door opening and closing. Here, just kill me. I've failed my mission.
<laughs> you don't need to roll. I'm not doing anything. I'm curious to see. Oh, nice. I didn't think that would kill him immediately, though. Is this? Oh, it opens up. No, I'm unarmed. Not going out without fight. Actually, I should have looked at that. Those are cool moments. You get like multiple camera angles on how you died. I could be the loudest son of a bitch ever. Just tear in here, ripping and snorting and firing guns. But no, I destroy a console and then all hell breaks loose. Real cool. Anyway, it's not the biggest inconvenience. It's not like we made it that far anyway. So let's just see if we can get back over there. I am surprised that some of these guys can see as far out as they can because I don't think I was near that one where I was like near that dome building <laughs> but that guy was running he made damn sure he met me up at the top there I'm trying to think if there's any other 007 games so there I mean you'd think there was a lot and there kind of was, depending on what you're considering. Like a full-fledged game, there's a lot of shitty ones. I think there was like a really bad one on Atari. <laughs> there might have been one on NES that wasn't that great. I think there was like a James Bond Jr. or something. Or whatever that show was. There was a show back in like the 80s that was like, Kid James Bond. And he was like a real, like, son of James Bond type deal. And they took like all the 60s villains and made them into like, cheapo cartoon characters. It was weird. Anyway, I think there might have been a game adaptation of that. And it possibly was on the NES. No, this place is dangerous. Don't shoot in here. But for all intents and purposes, I kind of consider this the first like true to form James Bond game. It was definitely the most successful for a long time. Maybe even ever. I don't know about to like total sales, counting for inflation, but it's definitely the game people think about when they think about a 007 game. But Rare didn't hang on to the license, or they... I don't even know if it was their choice, but they... They never made another one, as far as I know. Um, EA, I think, acquired the license shortly after. I remember there was some not quite so great games on the PlayStation. Like, I think Tomorrow Never Dies, that movie had a video game adaptation and it wasn't all that wonderful. I think that one was on PlayStation. Um, I remember renting that one too and didn't ver get very far. Okay, so it's powered down. Let's see. Gotta get the safe key. Steal the building plans. Enter the base via the ventilation tower. Okay. Just making sure there's nothing else I have to do, like, on top of this thing. I didn't really give it a good look when I was running around there before. Welcoming party out here. Somebody's here. Just can't see them. Hmm. 
Mm -mm. Ooh, ooh, getting a little unwieldy there. Auto lock on is kind of freaking out. Or maybe it's not even that. I think it might even partially just have to do with moving on higher and lower planes with these big mounds of snow. Now don't you start rolling. I never did anything for anybody. Got a nut shot in there somewhere. There we go. Ooh, probably not the nade launcher. Just in case there actually is anybody in here, I don't want to just start lobbing explosives. Whoa, damn, where? Can't even tell where this gunfire is coming from. <laughs> nice little hop. I might have a case where enemies are like respawning again too. Kinda sucks. One of these buildings has I think both of what I need. Not maybe in the same one, but I think there's a building that's got the key and there's a building that's got the safe. Oh, what, we have a limit on ammo now? Come on. Oh. You, you do that. <laughs> Clasp at your throat. Shit. Safe key. Okay, cool. Okay, I think the safe is like one of the houses past the big radar dish, maybe? I'm going back to multiplayer modes, too. Um, talk about a lot about Nightfire, but Everything or Nothing actually hits pretty damn good multiplayer modes. I was somewhat surprised. Um, the best one couldn't do more than two players, but it was like its own like campaign for multiplayer. It was pretty impressive. Like It had its own little story going on. You played other 00 agents and it was like brand new maps. It wasn't even like recycled content. It was its own deal. And I think you could go through and play it single player with like a bot or something like that, but it wasn't, it wasn't really doable. Hell, it wasn't, it was hard. It was a hard game to play. I don't think it was halfway doable even <laughs> with another person. The other person had to be good as the person playing with them, so. Got them bunker plans. See if I could find some armor or something in here. But it still had like other game modes like deathmatch and something else, so you know, you didn't have to like stress out over it too much. Nothing in here, huh? I 
Looks like it could potentially be important. Okay, does this give me any clues as to where that place is? Enter base via ventilation tower. Huh. All right, well, it's a tower. I don't think there's many of those. There's the round one. It might be past this point. As far as I can still hit him out far. car model. I don't really know why the alarm went off. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go out this far. I know they said not to go through the main entrance, but I don't know. This didn't look like the main entrance. Maybe it was. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Let's not get carried away here. You don't think the ventilation tower is the same thing as a satellite tower, do you? I wouldn't suspect so. There's the round thing, but the round thing I don't think had any sort of entry point. Oh, look at that. Maybe that's it. Well, an alarm went off, but I didn't get any objective failures, so. Oh, wait, we got it. It's a powerful lock. Yeah, get up there. <laughs> Gotta lean to do it. Hell yeah. Okay, well, not, not bad, not terrible. <laughs> 3.30, good lord. Okay, mission two, Severnaya. Primary objective is disrupt all surveillance equipment, copy GoldenEye key and leave original, photograph main video screen. I could do that, background. Spy satellite has detected increased levels of activity at an old observatory complex near Severnaya in Russia. Is it the same with each one? I guess it is, yeah. Plus the influx of skilled personnel, of course. M briefing 007, I want you to infiltrate this base and find out what the devil's going on there. Satellite photographs reveal that there has been recent underground excavation. We would like to know the exact nature and plan extent of the workings. By the way, this is a covert operation. You may have to neutralize security, but try not to be too obvious about it. I don't think there's any stealth in this game. <laughs> Who are you trying to fool, M? Q Branch, you'll be doing some computer hacking on this mission. Ooh, I'm in. 007, I know you'd rather be cracking open a bottle of bubbly than cracking passwords, so I've taken the liberty of putting together a little gadget which will do the hard work for you. If you attach the data thief to their mainframe, it should override any computer security measures and download the information they require. Money Penny, underground in Siberia, James. Some of us don't get further than the Northern Line. Ha ha ha. Yes, indeed. Ah, this looks fancy. They've got seven whole monitors there. Hey. Ah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Bless you.
Yeah. I think I need a better gun. Don't think this is how it's supposed to work. <laughs> I think that camera screwed me over. Well, again, I'm not going down without a fight. Yeah, that guy's wearing shades. He's the cool one of the bunch. <laughs> okay, so we do in fact have to be careful here. Efficient, I guess, with the aiming. Or, I wonder if I could lean. I wonder if that helps. But if I just encounter like regular soldiers, I have sickle and hammer. Just so you'd know that they're USSR Russian. So it's not going to be like Metal Gear where. We start an alarm here or anything. Despite the fact that these guys are ass mad that I'm here. Ah, oh, shit. I think it's a little late for that, but. Oh, there's a camera there. God damn it. I didn't even see that. I'm gonna like run through here just to see. Okay, that's a dead end. That's excavation point number one. What the hell are you guys? Like Secret Service? Whoa! Master Chief over here. Akimbo with those SMGs. Okay, there's one up here. Not that it matters, but I'm just gonna shoot it anyway. That actually worked pretty well for you, gotta say. Whoa, what the heck? Wait, did I not have any ammo for that? Why did he just like suddenly start karate chopping the air? Ah, oh no, it's Boris. I shot him in the leg. Sorry, Boris. I know you're supposed to live or something. You're like an actual movie character. Yeah, do, do we converse? Take me to the mainframe terminal. Whoa. I don't know where he went. Because it doesn't really matter since this isn't like a super serious attempt. I'm just trying to map out the place a little bit better because I will inevitably try to retry this. Oh. Okay, that's how we get out. <laughs> Bond was just like, I'm out. See you guys. Man, that does seem a little tight though because getting into that one, this room in particular, there's a lot of people here, and there's not even just like the security cameras, but like people that can run up to the switches and press those. So this might be a little iffy. I don't know.
Yeah, that didn't go so great. Okay, now that's that big room. I think I want to try to avoid that. At least for right now. I knew there was another guy in here. Picked up computer room key card. Okay. That was just sitting there, I guess. Just a jump to the left. Trying to reload and then I just open and close the door. Okay, <laughs> being extra careful when it comes to trying to clear these rooms because I do not want to set off a security camera if I don't have to. <clears throat> is this this isn't the server, is it? Come to think of it, I think when Boris was running, he ran back here. Let's see. It's the same as the server that was in the um, first mission at the dam. I'd be willing to give it a try. Let's... Key analyzer. Data thief. Computer has not been activated, though. Key card, security key card, data thief, key analyzer, camera. Why do we need a camera? Is that part of the objectives? Oh, photograph the vein, the main video screen. I didn't see that before, or did I? Well, it doesn't matter. have the golden eye key, do we? Okay, actually I still need to get back onto that. There we go. Keeps going. Okay, we gotta wait for that smoke to clear. Ah, 
I'm trying, damn it. Okay, there we go. Whew. Okay, camera time. Let's do this. I think this is what they want us to do. Cool. Alright, so that leaves... Copy the golden eye key. And we should be good after that. I can't sidle up the stairs. Oh, I was wondering why that guy was like leaning so far back. Except for that guy. Okay, my dude. That's a golden eye key. Wait, I need you. Take me to the mainframe terminal, which I think we already saw. So this guy in the movie, I forget the actor's name, but he's the same guy that played Nightcrawler in the X-Men movies. Actually, wait, did he? Was Nightcrawler in anything <laughs> other than X2? And I, I guess I don't mean like the other, the reboot series, but like of the trilogy. Ah, yes, I was correct. Disable the security. Shouldn't take long. Hmm, the root password has been changed. Knockers, yes. Son of a bitch. Oops. We shouldn't even have talked to him. Okay, so we just need to make a copy of that key. Ah, but I didn't need to do the data thief thing. Shit, I think, <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah, that was not gonna go well. Okay, so, boy, I think in the movie he screws over Bond, too, but I, I don't remember that. <laughs> well, I didn't remember it prior to actually doing this part. Well, this isn't, like, a huge map or anything. I guess I don't care that much that we have to restart, but it's a little disappointing. Key card was on that guy. I thought it was just like lying on a box somewhere. Yeah, 
You're shooting at the wall, buddy. Just a little bit hesitant because I don't remember where the security cameras were. I got two for one, but I think one guy just rolled out of the way. Okay. down here. Did we get both guys here? Okay. Cool. Yeah, there was a lot of people running up, but it was hard to tell. engage Boris. I repeat, do not engage Boris. Okay, so we got the golden eye key. Let's see. I would think you just, what? Key analyzer. Do this, analyzing the golden eye key. Did, did we do it? Let's 
Still can't do anything with that data thief. Okay, I think it analyzed it, so we just equip that. <laughs> Toss it back there, and we're good. So that's all objectives completed. The only thing is that uh, there was an objective about Q and the data thief. I wonder if I need to do that in the server room. I mean, otherwise everything is completely taken care of. And we have a security key card now. Computer's not been activated. Oh well, shit, I don't know. Activate it then. Where is this computer? The only one that even resembles one outside of the consoles that's near the ventilation room is this. But this doesn't do anything. So get them doom door sounds. Also, for some reason, it seems like we're like experiencing a high level of frame rate that we weren't before. I don't know what's going on. I guess maybe just the lack of enemies. Well, okay. All the objectives are technically complete, so I don't really think there's anything else I need to do. Unless it busts one out on me. Yeah, no, they all say complete. I don't get this whole data thief business. And I know they mentioned it for like, you know, you get to do the hacking. But maybe maybe that was just for an alternative approach. I, I've got no clue. So, I'm going to say we're good. Just making his way out of here. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Let's see. Kyrgyzstan. Mission 3, launch silo. Uh, Alright, we can start it. Photograph satellite. Obtain telemetric data. Retrieve satellite circuitry. And minimize scientist casualties. Again. Background. MI6 has become concerned that unscheduled test firings from missile silo in Kyrgyzstan are being used to cover the launch of GoldenEye weapon satellites. Deep intelligence reports suggest that this operation may well be outside the control of the former Soviet powers in the region. M briefing. Infiltrate the silo and ascertain what is being placed in orbit. If it is a satellite, recover their control circuitry and sabotage the launches. You are authorized to destroy the base if necessary. This is a matter of international security, 007. Consider the military personnel expendable. Ooh. <laughs> License to kill in action, Q branch. The layout of the missile silo means that a few carefully placed explosive charges will destroy the entire complex. Concentrate on the fuel rooms, H4, C3, K2, and A1. 007, remember to treat the timed explosives with respect. Um, hold up. Okay, I thought I was getting a notification, but nothing important. Uh, treat the timed explosives with respect. You know what happened to 004 in Beirut. Oh, and get me a picture of the satellite. There's a good chap. Uh, th th there's a good chap. Like meant there was like one there. Money Penny, you leave at 1800 hours for Bishkek. James, just imagine those romantic nights in the steppes, lying beneath the stars, the campfires, twinkling on the hills. Sounds like heaven. When you're in the arms of some dusky maiden, spare a thought for poor old me cooped up behind the desk in rainy London. Not a chance. Two years ago. I don't remember uh, the movie 
taking place over the span of like several years, but it has been a long time. Oh no, it's timed. It has been a long time since I've actually seen Goldeneye. Military expendable. Out of the way, sir. You're expendable. Sir! This guy's usually dying three hits. Son of a bitch. died, right? Okay, cool. Is it a face? Take a picture of the photograph satellite. Oh, but these are rockets, but it's the same thing, right? Cheap satellite circuitry. Oh, maybe it needs to be one that we can actually access. Telemetric data, retrieve satellite circuitry, minimize scientist casualties. We'll see about that last one. <laughs> oh, but I should. I still need to destroy them, right? Plastic. Was the detonator a separate deal? Oh, whatever. Selected each time. That. Uh. There we go. Thing looks like a little HAL 9000. Oh, excuse me. The key card. All right. Get another one. much longer with a little bit of body armor or something.
Getting a little closer. Ah, shit. I should have turned to the corner. Oh, wait, I completed an objective. Oh, it was a scientist one. I'm like, which one was that? Shots for days. Trying to get too fancy with these free shots. It works a little better, and I save ammunition if I shoot them in the head. But just trying to line it up right sometimes don't work out so great. I should just start shooting like that. Door's locked. Keycard, please. Keycard. There we go. Thank you. Sir. Flew right out of you, huh? Whoa! I guess somebody just started shooting and they accidentally hit a box. I would think that doesn't usually happen. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, okay, I'll give it one more try. Um, let me see how many H4, K3, K2, A1. Place explosive charge. Uh, wait. The end of the missile silo means that a few carefully placed explosive charges will destroy the entire complex. Concentrate on the fuel rooms. Retreat time explosive respect. Um, maybe it doesn't need to be like in the actual like missiles themselves. 
I think the fuel rooms are like the big rooms with, that are like right before the locked doors. So I want to take a look at that real quick, but yeah, I think I think that might be the case. So we don't need to worry about doing it on here. Open that back up, please. Okay, key cards. Key cards, please. Come on, Dr. Otto Octavius, give me. There we go. Okay, I think this is what we need to plant the charges on. Taking another look at the mission objectives. Maybe. It didn't say anything, but... I'm gonna say it's correct. again these guys are getting trigger happy whoa it's a lot of them in here. wonder if I needed to grab something else from the other room. Well, too late now. I guess we'll find out. Shit. Why is there so many of them in here? It wasn't like this any other previous time I've played it. whole damn army in here. Open up, please.
Okay, we got another circuit board here, so maybe maybe they're just in all of them? I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, we might need might need that other one. Not good enough? Is that not what we're looking for? Guess we need something else. Let me toss some plastique on here. Actually. What the? Oh no, we changed it. I changed the goddamn control scheme. Might actually work a little bit better, but I got, I'm already used to it. <laughs> Solitaire? Uh, no, not that one. Kissy, good night. Honey. Door's locked. armor finally good to know that's there um we haven't gotten anything photograph the satellite obtain telemetric data retrieve satellite circuitry i think there might have been some circuitry in that first room that i neglected to get oh damn always. Maybe this is what we're looking for. Oh, that was his fault. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> I was coming around to meet the guy, but he's the one that blew it up. Well, I guess we're screwed now. I'm gonna destroy everything. We got like 30. I don't have a, a hell of a lot of time to finish this mission. I mean, what with the weird influx of enemies? It's pretty damn strange. Excuse me, gentlemen. Oh, it's Odomov. Is that guy just invincible? I think. <laughs> well, we all blew up anyway. <laughs> I died, but I had my revenge. All right, well, still. <laughs> Let's see. Still got a fair amount of missions. I know one of them is, uh, one of them is the Moonraker deal too. So there's like extra stuff, but hey, we cleared out a quarter of the game, I guess. Um, that's good enough for right now. Uh, I will come back to this, I think. Uh, it's gonna be interesting looking through and seeing <laughs> what else the missions are going to be like, but I thought it was pretty fun. Um, but that's going to be it for tonight. Too bad we didn't end on a completion, but Hey, I got rid of the rest of them done. Uh, this is a little weird, uh, mission there, but I don't know. Next time I come back to it, we'll figure it out. 
Uh, as I've been saying, we have been completing our games, so it's a new year and we're starting up some new stuff. So next time I stream, I will probably do something different and then we'll come back to this probably the time after that. Uh, we also started up Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater for Metal Gear Monday. So if you're looking forward to that, come back around next Monday. Otherwise, we'll be doing some more GoldenEye in a couple days. And uh, yeah, something else, something new, probably next time I stream. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it as always. And we'll see you around next time. Until then, have a good night. Take care.